Hello friends, I'm Kate. Welcome to this 10 minute easy yoga stretch class. These are all seated positions and this class works great as a gentle stretch routine for any time of day or for a yoga cool down. So if you like this class, please give it a little thumbs up, leave a comment. I always like to hear how your experience was and if you wanna see more classes, then please subscribe to my channel. But let's go ahead and get started just in an easy seat, so that could be on your knees or cross-legged. And we'll plant the right hand by the right hip. Inhale, reach up and over with the left arm, big circle, reach over, spiral the chest open. And then exhale through cactus, drawing the elbow back for a nice chest stretch. Plant the left hand by your left hip. Inhale, right arm, big circle, forward, over open through the chest, exhale it down through cactus, plant the right hand by the right hip, inhale left arm up, over, exhale it down, right arm reaches up and over, exhale down, inhale left arm, exhale, maybe you close down the eyes, move with your breath, inhale right arm, Exhale, inhale, left arm, exhale. One more time each side, inhale, right arm, exhale. Inhale, left arm, exhale, nice. Rolling over onto our knees and you can double up your mat if your knees are sensitive. I'm also gonna take toes pose where I Fold my toes under for an extra foot stretch. Inhale, our arms up. Knit the ribs in. And then exhale, the arms down. Clasp hands or elbows behind you. And then chase the ground with your fists. Press your sternum up towards the sky. That's the place right between your collarbones. Nice opening in the chest. Breathe into it, every inhale, puff your chest towards the sky. Every exhale, maybe you drop your shoulders down your back a little bit more. Inhale, come out, roll the shoulders out. And we'll come to a seat at the back of our mat. Our left leg out long, our right leg bent, foot by the inner thigh. Inhale to a long spine, and then exhale, lean forward with that long spine. And you can dorsiflex your foot back at you, so you draw the stretch from your thigh, down your calf, down the bottom of your foot, the plantar fascia muscle, and then your toes as well. Cute little name for the muscles in your toes. They're called your digital slips. So option with a straight back here to move into deeper space. And with forward folds like these, and we'll do a few of them in this class, the goal is always to get not your, your forehead or your nose to the mat where we're rounding like this. That can exacerbate some of our chest tightness and, and harm the lower back. The goal is always for a straight spine and to get the navel towards the ground, almost like we're shining our chest forward even in this position. So inhale, come up, switch it out, left leg long, or excuse me, right leg long. Left leg by your inner thigh, inhale to a long spine, and then exhale with that long spine, lean forward. An option for a generous bend in this extended leg here. And now that we have our alignment, our long spine, our flexed foot, let's close down the eyes and bring in a little bit of mindfulness of breath here. With each exhale, soften. See if you can go a little bit deeper. Inhale, 
come up bottom of the feet together, setting up for butterfly pose. So it doesn't matter how far the feet are away from your body. Just inhale to a long spine. I like to grab my ankles. And then on the exhale, lean forward again with that long spine, trying to get our navel to the ground. Not hunching over, but shining the chest forward. Option to take gentle pulses here. Moving into a place of slightly deeper stretch, but never holding at max stretch. And bring intention to your hips. Relax your hips, the outer hips, inner thighs. Nice, inhale, come up, roll over onto a tabletop. Just for a moment, we'll press back into downward dog. We're just gonna use this as a transition into pigeon. So inhale, our right leg up, and then exhale, bring it around. Right knee by right hand, right foot by left hand. Your foot can be nearer to your body at an angle that can be more accessible or for a deeper stretch, bring it parallel with the top of your mat. Option to stay up or come right on down to forearms. And you can always have a block under your right hip here for support. And just breathe it out. Deep breaths. With your exhale, relax your hips. Each exhale, just release. slowly come onto your hands, press into your hands, tuck the back toe, lift yourself back in a downward dog, pedal it out for a moment, feel the difference in your hips from just a few breaths and pigeon. And then inhale, left leg up, and set up for pigeon on the left. Again, option to stay upright. Work a little bit of the back. Get a little bit of hip mobility action in here. Or come right into forearms and fold it in. How can you find more ease in this pose? If feelings come up, can you not create an attachment with them? Just let them float by like clouds in the sky. Could we smile? Could we experience sweetness here? Placing the hands, moving quite slowly, coming out of pigeon. Tuck the back toe, inhale back to downward dog. Walk up to your hands and we'll take a seat. We're gonna open our legs quite wide here. We're taking a straddle. So legs as wide as comfortable. Mm. Externally rotate your legs so your knees are pacing up and back, and then fold forward. So you might be here. You might be 
go a little bit lower. It doesn't matter. Wherever you are, can you find ease? Can you find joy? Can you find sweetness exactly where you are? Can you relax into the posture? With each exhale, release a little bit more. Come up, both feet together, sitting towards the back of our mat, or actually towards the middle. We're going to roll onto our back. Inhale, both legs up. And exhale into happy baby. So peace fingers to big toes here. That might be more accessible for some people. Or hands to the outside of the feet. And maybe you take a moment and just bring your knees down towards the mat, opening through the groin, inner thigh. Maybe you rock side to side. Maybe you straighten one leg than the other. There's really no wrong way to do this really intuitive pose. Make this feel good for you. An option to close class, laying down, or come up into seated meditation. Or just take this new energy that you have created and not only share it positively with others, but also with yourself. So with one hand on your navel, the other hand on your heart, big breath in. And together, exhale. That beautiful mind-body connection, prayer hands at heart, namaste, friends.